श्री सच्चिदानंद सदगुरु साईनाथ महाराज की जय सदगुरु भरद्वाज महाराज की जय श्री साई सच्चरित्र चैप्टर ट्वेंटी फोर बाबा स्वीट एंड ह्यूमर चाना लीला हेमात पंत सुधामा अन्ना चिंचनीकर वर्सेस मौशी बाई प्रिलिमिनरी अनलेस वी सरेंडर अवर एगो टू द फीट ऑफ अवर सदगुरु वी विल नॉट सक्सीड इन अवर अंडरटेकिंग इफ वी बिकम इगोलेस देन अवर सक्सेस इज अश्योर्ड बाय वर्शिपिंग साई बाबा वी अटेन बोथ द ऑब्जेक्ट वर्ल्डली एंड स्पिरिचुअली एंड आर फिक्स इन अवर ट्रू नेचर एंड गेट पीस एंड हैप्पीनेस देर फॉर दोज हु वॉन्ट टू अकम्प्लिश आर गेन देयर वेलफेयर शुड रेस्पेक्टफुली हियर साई बाबा लीलास आर स्टोरीज and meditate on them if they do this they will easily attain the object of their life and get bliss generally all people like wit and humor and they do not like that jokes should be cut at their expense but baba's method was peculiar when it was accompanied with good gestures it was very interesting and instructive and the people therefore did not mind even if they were held up to the ridicule hemat pant gives his own instance below china chana leela in shirdi a special bazaar was held every sunday and people from the neighboring villages came there erected booths and stalls in the open street and sold their wares and commodities every noon the masjid was crowded but on sunday it was crowded to suffocation on one such sunday hemat pant sat in front of baba shampooing his legs and muttering god's name shama was on baba's left vaman rao to his right shriman bhuti and kaka saheb dikshit and others were also present there then shama laughed and said to anna saheb see that some grains seem to have stuck to the sleeve of your coat so saying he touched the sleeves and found that there were some grains so saying he touched the sleeve and found that there were some grains hemat pant straightened his leg forearm to see what the matter was and to the surprise of all some grains of gram came rolling down and were picked up by the people who were sitting there this incident furnished a subject matter for joke everybody present began to wonder and said something or other as to how the grains found their way into the sleeve of the coat and lodged it there so long Hemat Pant also could not guess when nobody could give any satisfactory explanation in this matter and everybody was wondering about this mystery baba said as follows this fellow anna saheb has got the bad habit of eating alone today is a bazaar day and he came here chewing grams i know his habit and these grams are a proof of it what wonder is there in this matter hemat pant baba i never know of eating things alone then why do you shoulder this bad habit on me i have never yet seen shirdi bazaar i never went to the bazaar today then how could i buy grams and how could i eat them if i had not bought them i never eat anything unless i share it with other present around me at the time of my meals baba it's true that you give to the persons present but if none be nearby what would you or i do but do you remember me before eating am i not always with you then do you offer me anything before you eat moral let us mark and note carefully what baba has taught us by this incident 
he was advised us that before the senses mind and intellect enjoy their objects first he should be remembered and if this be done it is in a way by making an offering to him the senses etc can never remain without their objects but if those objects are first offered to the guru the attachment for them will naturally vanish in this way all the rittis subtle thoughts regarding desire anger avarice uh, etc should first be offered and directed to the guru and if this practice be followed the lord will help you in eradicating all the rittis when before enjoyment of the objects you think that baba is present the question whether the object is fit to be enjoyed or not will at once arise then the object that is not fit to be enjoyed will be shunned and in this way our vicious habits or vices will disappear and our character will be improved then love for the guru will grow and pure knowledge will sprout up when this knowledge grows the bondage of body consciousness will snap snap and our intellect will be merged in spirit consciousness then we shall get bliss and contentment there is no difference between guru and god he who sees any difference in them finds god nowhere so leaving aside all ideas of difference we should regard guru and god as one and if we serve our guru as stated above god will be certainly pleased and by purifying our minds will give us self realization to put the matter in a nutshell we should not enjoy any object with our sense etc without first remembering our guru when the mind is trained in this way we will be always reminded of baba and our meditation on baba will grow apace the sagun form of baba will ever be before our eyes and then devotion non attachment and salvation will all be ours when baba's form is thus fixed before our mental vision we forget hunger thirst and this sansar the consciousness of worldly pleasures will disappear and our mind shall attain peace and happiness sudama story when the above story was being narrated hematmant was reminded of a similar story of sudama which illustrates the same principle and therefore it is given here Sri Krishna and his elder brother Balaram were living with a co-student named Sudama in the ashram of their guru Sandipani. Once Krishna and Balaram were sent to the forest for bringing fuel. Then the wife of Sudapani uh, then the wife of Sandipani sent Sudama also for the same purpose with some quantity of grains for the three. When Krishna met Sudama in the forest he said to him Dada I want water as I am thirsty Sudama replied No water should be drunk on an empty stomach so it is better to rest a while He did not say that he had got grams with him and that Krishna should take some As Krishna was tired he lay down for rest on the lap of Sudama and was soon snoring on seeing this sudama took out the grains and began to eat then krishna suddenly asked him dada what are you eating what is this chitter chatter sound he replied what is there to eat i am shivering with cold and my teeth are chattering i can't even repeat vishnu sahasranam hearing this the omniscient krishna said I just had a dream in which I saw a man eating things of another and when asked about this he said what does should he eat meaning thereby that he had nothing to eat the other man said let it be so dada this is only a dream 
I know that you won't eat anything without me. Under the influence of the king, uh, under the influence of the dream, I asked you what you were eating. If Sudama had none, uh, if Sudama had known the omniscient Sri Krishna and his leelas, he would not have acted as he did. Therefore, he had to suffer for what he did. Though he was a chum of Sri Krishna, he had to pass his later life in utter poverty. But when we later offered Krishna a handful of uh, perched rice earned by his wife with her own labor, Krishna was pleased and gave him a golden estate to enjoy. This story should be remembered by those who have the habit of eating things alone without partaking them with others. The Shruti also emphasizes this lesson and asks us to offer things first to God and then enjoy them. After they were renounced by Him, Baba also has taught us the same lesson in His immutable and humorous way. Anna Chinchanikar vs. Maushi Bai Hemat Pant now describes another witty incident in which Baba played a pacemaker, peacemaker's part. There was one devotee by name Damodar Ganashyam Babare alias Anna Chinchanikar. He was simple, rustic and straightforward. He cared for nobody, always spoke plainly and carried all dealings with cash. Though he looked outwardly harsh and uncompromising, he was uh, good-natured and guiltless. So Sai Baba loved him. He was willed away all his property to Sri Sai Baba Sansthan Shradi. One day he liked others uh, serving Baba in their own way. This Anna was shampooing the left arm of Baba, which rested on the Katada railing. On the right side, one old win- widow named Vinubai Kaujalgi, whom Baba called Mother and all others called Maushibai, was serving Baba in her own way. This Maushibai was uh, an elderly woman of pure heart. She clasped the fingers of both her hands round the trunk of Baba and was at this time massaging Baba's abdomen. She did this so forcibly that Baba's back and abdomen became flat and Baba's moved from side to side. Anna on the other side was uh, steady but Moshi boy's uh, face moved up and down with her strokes. Once it so happened that her face came very close to Anna's. Being of a witty disposition, she remarked, Oh, this Anna is a lived fellow. He wants to kiss me. Even being so old with grey hair, he heals no shame in kissing me. These words enraged Anna and he pulled up his sleeves and said, You say that I am an old bad fellow? Am I quite a fool? It is you who has picked up a quarrel with me. All the persons present there were enjoying this encounter between them. Baba who loved both of them equally and wanted to pacify them. Managed the affair very skillfully. Lovingly he said, Oh Anna, why are you unnecessarily raising this hue and cry? I do not understand what harm or impropriety is there when the mother is kissed? Hearing these words of Baba, both of them were satisfied and all the persons laughed merrily and enjoyed Baba's wit to their heart's content. Baba's Characteristics This Dependency on Bhaktas Baba allowed his devotees to serve him in their own way and did not like any other persons interfering in this. To quote an instance, the same Moshi Bhai was uh, on another occasion needing Baba's abdomen. Seeing the force used by her, all other devotees felt nervous and anxious. They said, 
ఓ మదర్ బీ మోర్ కన్సిడరేట్ అండ్ మోడరేట్ అదర్వైజ్ యూ విల్ బ్రేక్ బాబాస్ ఆర్టరీస్ అండ్ నర్వ్స్ ఎట్ దిస్ బాబా గాట్ అప్ ఎట్ వన్స్ ఫ్రమ్ హిస్ సీట్ అండ్ డాష్డ్ హిస్ సట్కా ఆన్ ద గ్రౌండ్ హీ గాట్ ఎన్రేజ్డ్ అండ్ హిస్ ఐస్ బికమ్ రెడ్ లైక్ ఏ లైవ్ ఎంబర్స్ నాన్ డేర్ నన్ డేర్డ్ టు స్టాండ్ బిఫోర్ బాబా దెన్ హీ టుక్ హోల్డ్ ఆఫ్ వన్ ఎండ్ ఆఫ్ ద సట్కా విత్ బోత్ హ్యాండ్స్ అండ్ ప్రెస్ డిట్ ఇన్ ద హోలో ఆఫ్ హిస్ అబ్డామిన్ ద అదర్ ఎండ్ హీ ఫిక్స్డ్ టు ద పోస్ట్ అండ్ బిగాన్ టు ప్రెస్ హిస్ అబ్డామిన్ అగెనిస్ట్ ఇట్ ద సట్కా విచ్ వాజ్ అబౌట్ టూ ఆర్ త్రీ ఫీట్ ఇన్ లెంత్ సిమ్డ్ ఆల్ రెడీ టు గో ఇన్ టు ద అబ్డామిన్ అండ్ ద పీపుల్ ఫియర్డ్ దట్ ద అబ్డామిన్ వుడ్ బీ రెప్చర్డ్ ఇన్ ఏ షార్ట్ టైమ్ ద పోస్ట్ వాజ్ ఫిక్స్డ్ అండ్ ఇమూవబుల్ అండ్ బాబా బిగాన్ టు గో క్లోజర్ అండ్ క్లోజర్ టు ఇట్ అండ్ క్లాస్ ఫర్ ద పోస్ట్ ఫ్యామిలీ ఎవ్రీ మూమెంట్ ద రెప్చర్ వాజ్ ఎక్స్పెక్టెడ్ అండ్ దే వర్ ఆల్ డిస్మేడ్ డిడ్ నాట్ నో వాట్ టు డూ అండ్ స్టూ టు డమ్ విత్ వండర్ అండ్ ఫియర్ ద అదర్ డివోర్టీస్ వాంటెడ్ ఓన్లీ టు గివ్ ఏ హింట్ టు ద ముసాబాయి టు బీ మోడరేట్ ఇన్ హర్ సర్వీస్ and not cause any trouble or pain to baba they were surprised to see that their well intentioned effort had resulted in this crisis and they could do nothing but to wait and watch fortunately baba's rage soon cooled down he left the satka and resumed his seat from this time onwards the devotees took the lesson that they should not meddle with anybody but allow him to serve baba as he chooses as he was capable to guess the merits and worth of the service rendered unto him bow to sri sai peace be to all